Did I scare them away? They didn't like my vibe? Whatever. Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to the Joey Show Nashville. You know, today was one of those days where I didn't leave the house. In fact, I didn't even think I was going to be making a show or vlog or whatever you call this today. I just kind of thought, well, I'm going to skip it. I'm kind of tired. I've had a busy week. I'm just going to stay home and veg out and do nothing. So, the day went on and on and I was the laziest I think I've been in a long time. Just didn't do much of anything. And then comes about 5.30 in the afternoon. And I kind of say, well, what am I going to do tonight? Do I want to sit and watch Netflix? Of course not. So here it is. It's 5.41. And I'm actually uh, going to go down here to the lake and try and film something. I don't know what I'll even be able to film. We got we got a storm moving in tonight. And uh, that's something. I don't think any of the storm clouds will be visible from the lake though. So we will see. I am very, very... Uh, concerned about my money situation as the money in my bank account has dwindled down to just about nothing yeah the uh, stimulus check is so far uh, non-existent in my account unemployment is a travesty because they haven't figured out how to pay gig workers and uh, yeah happy weekend right and here I am, I'm going 40 miles an hour, and I got a car right in my ass. He came up on me out of nowhere. To me, it's just totally rude, and it's one of the things from Tennessee that I don't like about this place, is people do this. I don't know if they're taught this. Why can't they keep a respectable distance? I think instead of tailgating, you should follow social distancing etiquette even when you're driving. That's just me. But I should be happy, I'm here at the lake now. Yeah, my car is filthy. Filthy, filthy, filthy. I guess no one told these guys that you're supposed to ride on the right side of the road. They must be from England. So yeah, here I am. I'll just take this spot right here. How's that? Mr. Tailgater.
You know, as I get older, I find myself begrudgingly becoming less and less tolerant of ignorant people. Now, I'll be the first to admit I have absolutely no skills as far as computers go, but people that are just ignorant, like this guy, what the, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, and a car was coming. It's like, oh, I'll just stop in the road. Another guy over there was asking me if I would jumpstart his car. It's like, there's a pandemic going on. I'm not gonna go touch your car, or be anywhere near you, or touch your jumper cables, or even close to you. Anyways, I just find myself being less and less tolerant, accepting of idiot people. I just want people, you know, when I was younger, you know, I consider myself to be fairly smart. You know, I'm, I'm not a rocket scientist, but I've never been like just stupid and inconsiderate of people. But anyways, I just want to be left alone, I think, when I'm getting older. That's what it really comes down to. Is I'm just tired of people altogether. You know, I, I had it right, I think, living in Fiji. Seriously, I think I just need to have my own island. I just need to have my own island. I came to my favorite park and I noticed that all the uh, racers are here. Guaranteed these are the guys who've been decorating this parking lot with their little spinning tires. More ignorant people that I've been talking about can watch some of this stuff huh here we go there goes one My holiday decorations it's the new uh, corona holiday for America so I proudly represent corona with my decoration here as you can see that is a, uh, a mask and it signifies the two-month holiday that America is experiencing called the corona holiday viva la corona <laughs> 